It's the opening day of a new season and both teams will be looking to start quickly. You can feel the excitement in the air. Kick off next here on EA TV. Always a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Arsenal up against West Ham United. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. should offer plenty Arsenal get it going and a throw in forthcoming and nicely struck and the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Ford. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Asayi. Evans. And showing fine vision. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Lia Velti crossing into the middle threat over for now it seems will it happen for them and what an opportunity this is for her under some pressure here and a good take under duress there And take it away. Lisa Evans. And options in the centre. And blocked for now. Surely a goal! 1-0! A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen.
Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Now, well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Abby Lee Stringer. And West Ham being afforded too much space here. Using space on the opposite flank now. And the keeper more than equal to it. And that was a very fine read. Plenty of support here. Real chance. And saved by the keeper. And running it back. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. That is a really disappointing effort. Goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Well, almost at half-time, and Arsenal still trailing here. Work to do, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attack in third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Now, well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, she escapes with just a rebuke. No caution this time. Teammates in the middle, able to deal with the threat. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. Spot on with that tackle. And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. And the second half underway, West Ham with the lead. But I tell you what, it's a long way from being settled. And a throw in it's going to be. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, not a great ball played in. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity.
They favoured a short one here. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Great opportunity. And a fine stop. So the corner played into the box. Well, not on the target. Space was at a premium, though. And intercepted it. save it was over it comes well the danger is still there well it would have delighted the fans had it gone in Laura Wienreuter deserves credit for winning the ball back this looks promising out wide throw in for West Ham well the visitors very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so creating lots of chances now and you think if they do get another it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Well, not the best attempt we've ever seen from her, in all honesty. And probably the wrong decision. The cutback was the better option. She didn't take that, and there you see the result. A wild miss in the end. And failure to keep the ball by West Ham and teammates around her oh she's broken things up magnificently enticing with a bit of danger here it has to be and it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper Arsenal level Well, here it is again, and all credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. She's got to have that covered for me. No wonder she's frustrated with herself. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Blocking the emergency exit. Please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. Now, can she put this one away? And there it is! Two goals in a matter of minutes! Incredible stuff! Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Opportunity. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be.
Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all, And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. An unforced error, you've got to say. Has eyes for goal! Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. And a substitution in the offing. Dagny Brynjars dot here. Evans in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here a goal late on and one that silences the majority And underway again, it's West Ham in front. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Read it well. Atkinson. Of possibilities inside the box so the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal yes Derek there was very little in it for much of the game I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least and it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on but they just have to bounce back now